Hey guys, Twitch Ambassador Zeke Wo here. Today we're gonna to be responding to the whole Stay Safe TV drama and uh, we're gonna be responding to the allegations he's made against me in the video titled I'm banned from Twitch where he uh, claims that I had him banned for one day for hateful conduct. Now, before I show you guys some clips from that video and uh, before I uh, kinda respond and give my side, let's dial it back for one second. Stay Safe TV and I had a Twitter beef, uh, a little bit of a back and forth. At some point, he decided to tag Twitch in an attempt to have me canceled. And about a week later after that happened, he ended up getting banned. Now, in this video, he spends 15 minutes talking about how I tried to have him banned, but there is not one piece of evidence to support that anywhere in his video. It's just him ranting. So um, with that said, I do have some evidence that he tried to have me canceled, uh, and I do have some evidence that he's also denying it, twisting the facts, manipulating. Uh, I mean, I will give it to the guy. He's a skilled public speaker. He can be convincing for sure, um, but uh, the truth uh, always comes out in the end. Here we go. And what's even crazier is that Twitch Ambassador Zequo is actually going around telling people that I'm trying to get him canceled. He's on Twitter saying, I will always cheer the downfall of Nazis, especially ones that try to cancel me. He tagged my employer and tried to have me canceled, not the other way around. Now, what he's talking about, I assume, is my very first response to him in which I tagged Twitch when I typed Twitch Ambassador. So, here's the deal, dumbass. The tag clearly was not an attempt to get you canceled, and for the record, you are Twitch. You are literally a Twitch ambassador. You have been hand-selected by Twitch to be a representative for them. You are Twitch. All right. With that said, he says in his initial response, he tagged Twitch, and that's what he assumes I meant. No, dumbass. This is what I mean. At Twitch, one of your ambassadors is sending me random images with racial slurs in it. Ah, uh, help. 220k views what is this if not an attempt to try and cancel me what is that dumbass i know that you're pretending to be dumb i know you know that you wrote this so what like you know it's out there at least delete it afterwards like what what oh my goodness anyway that is the first thing i would like to address the other thing is he claims that um he is not view botting and that Asmongold uh, sided with him on the whole view botting thing. So we're gonna go ahead and dial it back to where he shows the Asmongold video right here. And then I am going to show you guys uh, the context that is missing because Asmongold was talking about this for 20 minutes. Uh, and this is just a short snippet of that. And uh, this guy is no stranger to manipulating facts. So. Uh, you guys will get the context. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if Zico doesn't like, uh, you know, like Stay Safe's politics, that's fine, right? That's a whole different conversation. But like, uh, to say he's viewbotting, I just don't think there's enough evidence for it. So yeah. So Asmongold dismisses these allegations, but mentions that maybe Zico doesn't like my politics, and that's why he's saying these things, which I think is true, considering he called me a right-wing red pill extremist. Now. Context that is missing here is this, which is something that Asman said right before he said uh, what he said in that clip of Stay Safe. Hit 8,000, and that's not even, you know, like 10%, right? Or it is 10%. It's not even like 30%. So, yeah. Is Stay Safe view botting? His graphs are suspicious. I will tell you this. His graphs are absolutely suspicious, and I don't know whether he's viewbotting or not. But if I look at this graph, and as somebody who's evaluated a lot of Twitch graphs with a lot of things, is it really enough to come to a conclusion? No, it's not. It is not enough to come to a conclusion. The accusation that Stay Safe is viewbotting is, I think, plausible, but not provable. I think this is evidence, but not proof. Does that make sense? So that's what Asman had to say about that. So he agrees, and I kind of agree with that as well. It's not enough to prove that he is viewbotting, but it's almost impossible to prove that somebody is viewbotting. Um, but 
definitely suspicious graphs 1300 average viewers uh, at least you know before our beef and uh losing followers on every single stream those are all extremely red flags when his graphs are looking like this when he's starting his stream hitting uh you know 1k viewers sometimes in like four minutes um and uh yeah that just looks very suspicious now i want to dial it back for a second to the part where he says that i dislike his politics now the reason why he says that is to alienate me towards the right wingers so the right wingers can agree with him and disagree with me because I hate right wingers. That means I hate them. That means they should hate me. But that's not the case. In the most recent Swedish election, I did vote for a party that belongs to the right wing side. And I also grew up in a conservative Muslim household. Now, I'm not really a practicing Muslim anymore. I'm more of an agnostic. But uh, I'm not this extremist, left-wing, liberal, uh, cancel culture freak, I believe, is what he said. Um, uh, that's not me, and uh, that's how he's trying to paint me in order to turn this into a political issue, which it is not. I called you a red pill right-wing extremist because that's what you are. There is a line drawn in the sand. You've crossed it into Nazi territory a long time ago, and you've kept crossing it. And I am going to show exactly what I'm talking about right here. So we're going to go to the next part of Mr. Stay Safe's video where he discusses the infamous Discord logs. And uh, let's hear what he has to say about those. That's honorable. Now, what Twitch Ambassador Zeekwo does next is insane. He completely drops the view botting allegations. He pivots away from the view botting narrative after Asmongold didn't agree with him. And rather, he now shifts to calling me a racist, a Nazi, a KKK member, and a white supremacist. Okay, so... Real quick, I've never called this man a KKK member. If you uh, take a quick look here, see? I've never even typed KKK anywhere on the internet. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just a quick fact check there. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, continue to listen to what he has to say here, of course. Why would Twitch Ambassador Zeke say these things? These are pretty big allegations. What proof does he have? Well, this is where we need to take a trip down memory lane to early 2018, when a content creator named Alex Enchual, who some of you might have heard of, who hated me at the time, put together a very large image file full of screenshots that were entirely fake. Now, when I say fake, that word doesn't actually do the situation justice. This guy spent weeks building a mock, a fake Discord server meant to emulate my Discord server in which he used the same ranks, the same rank colors, the same usernames, everything to make it identical, where he and several members of his community impersonated my server to make it seem as if my community was engaging in that behavior. Huh. I mean, at least he has the cap on when he's saying these things. Mr. Stay Safe, Mr. Stay Safe, what are you saying right now? This is your defense? All right, it's time to show some evidence that refutes all of this. Now, allow me to introduce you guys to Unicorn Riot. Now, let's talk about Unicorn Riot for a second. Unicorn Riot obtained hundreds of thousands of messages from white supremacist and neo-Nazi Discord chat servers after Charlottesville. Unicorn Riot Discord leaks opens far-right activity centers to public scrutiny through data journalism. This is a non-profit organization that uh, reports on this kind of stuff. Now, the cool thing about Unicorn Riot is that they go by Discord IDs. Now, each Discord account has a unique Discord ID, meaning if I have a Discord account called Zico and you have a Discord account called Zico, we still have a different ID to those accounts and your account is tied to your ID. Now, what happens here if we go over on to uh, Mr. Stay Safe's current Discord server, here is Stay Safe's Discord server in 2024. Now, this place is infested with hate speech, with Nazi uh, uh, dog whistles, with all kinds of crazy shit. But uh, we're going to take a step back from that. We're going to come back to this in a second, but this is his server in 2024. Now, if I click on Stay Safe's name right here and I click on his profile, you can see he is the server owner. You can see that he has connected his Twitter account, his YouTube, which is impossible to do unless you have the password to these accounts. And if we click here, you can see 
takes us to his Twitter. So this is him. It's undeniable that this is him. Now, if you use Discord in developer mode and you go over onto more, then you click copy user ID. You get his unique ID for his account. Now, if we go back to Unicorn Riot and we search for the ID, which only this account has, no one else has this ID, then we are presented with this. Stay safe being active in a Discord server called Cascade Front. Now, what is Cascade Front being, being active in this Discord? Why is that bad? Well, let's take a look at what Cascade Front is. We expect everybody to be able to look after themselves and that concept is open to interpretation. To you, it might just mean having a job and paying your bills. And that's okay if you believe with certainty that nothing bad will ever happen to the society you're a part of. And we welcome you nonetheless, as long as you believe in our main goal of preserving the white identity. Many of us, however, are not confident that the global economy and our current way of life is sustainable and will continue to exist for much longer, nor that the rule of law can be maintained perpetually and are taking steps to prepare for that contingency. You must assess the risks that face you. What if I'm not white? Please let us know. You may still participate in the discussion, but you may not be a permanent member. Is X white? How white do I have to be? The only thing I will say with certainty is that you do not have to be Aryan Ubermensch to take part. We value intelligence and dedication above all, and each case has to be judged on its own. Okay, well, what was Stay Safe saying in this Discord server? Well, here's one of his posts. I really believe that most of these minorities are so inept that if they're excluded from white society and free gibbs, they will die out or move somewhere else within like two generations. I am 100% confident that when whites get pushed enough, including liberals, they will snap and do a purge. Now, when we say do a purge, what do we mean there exactly? Are we talking about ethnic cleansing? Is that, is that what we're talking about? Are we purging immigrants? Or like what, what are we purging here exactly? Non-white people? Uh, it sounds like it. when whites get pushed enough. They will snap and do a purge, uh, do a purge on non-whites then, I guess. Is this not white supremacy? Oh, but Zico, these logs are from 2017. He may have changed. Well, let's go back to his Discord server and see if that's true. And uh, let's go and see if there's anything more interesting to look at in this Discord server uh, from StaySafe. Because I'm going to be honest, StaySafe, you've done a pretty decent job cleaning up the filth that you're leaving behind every time you speak. But you haven't done that good of a job. Now, let's take a look here at... Uh, for example, this that you forgot to clean up. Now, this is also a bit older, but uh, can somebody explain to me, why does this server, why did this server that he is an owner of, his Twitch Discord server, why does it have a swastika? And why is he reacting with a swastika to things that are posted here? If he's not a Nazi, if he hates me calling him a Nazi, why does he have this still on his new Discord server? Now, this is not all. Let's search for some, some more things here. Hitler. What do we have here? 17 pages of talking about Hitler. Some of these posts are, for example, this. What the fuck? I love Hitler. This is from 2024 from one of his users. It's just up there, it's just up there, unmoderated. And this is what I mean when I say that he's fostering a community for white supremacists and for Nazis. Now, that's just one guy, right? Well, let's look for some more things. Let's search for this, 88. My goodness, there's a lot of 88s here. Now, what is 88? Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, this is a strange username. Let's copy that. What does that mean? Huh. Huh. So we're making fun of Jews in here. Is that what we're doing? Let's search for Jews. Hmm. A lot of talk about, uh, about Jews. A lot of talk about Jews here. 
22 pages uh, talking about juice. 17 pages talking about Hitler. Hmm. All right. Well, what about this? Huh. From today, from two hours ago, using gay as a uh, derogatory term, using this as a slur. Huh. Huh. And uh, this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg now. Uh, these, these people here as well. What, what, what are these people? Who are these people? Oh, that's his moderators. Okay. Okay. So this, this, is, this is the people that he mods. These are the people that he, uh, that he gives VIP. These are the people that he follows on his uh, Twitter. These are the people that he chooses to associate with. Even in 2024, after uh, seven years of bettering himself, allegedly. Uh, I mean, personally, I, I will say denying that these logs are his um, is definitely uh, not uh, maturing and kind of owning up to it and changing. Uh, but you guys can feel free to interpret that however you want. Now, I want to talk about the old logs as well, the ones that I posted on my Twitter. I have managed to talk to some users who are in those screenshots. And these guys are saying this. Now, this is not me talking to him. This is a private investigator that has actually worked for Stay Safe. So this guy, I mean, Stay Safe is not going to say that this is fake. Uh, there's no way he will say that. I mean, if he does, I have this recorded on video as well. So uh, we can do it that way or we can just do it the easier way. Give me a simple yes or no to these two questions. Sure. This is a screenshot showing you in Stay Safe Discord spamming 88. Yes or no? Yes. Have you reviewed the photographs in that folder? Do you believe them all to be messages from your time on Stay Safe's Discord? Let me double check. Take your time and look through all the photographs. There's no way to verify if they're all from the same server, but yeah, the majority are. The majority of them from Stay Safe's server. Yes? Yes. Now, what if this guy is just lying? Well, Let's look through some more witnesses. Now, this guy, here's a screenshot of our conversation on Twitter. I asked him if he uh, had any, uh, you know, anything that can prove that he actually was in this Discord server. And he said he deleted it when he joined the force in his country. They take that stuff quite seriously. And it was a long time ago. I will be your mod. Stay safe. I'm the most pure here. So this guy got modded. And after he got modded, they invited him to this Discord server because they thought he was part of the gang. And he says, you can see me in the image album that you linked. Now, what if these guys are just lying? What if, what, what if these guys are just lying? What if, what if this is all just fake? Well, let's go to the actual Discord server where there are multiple users from that Discord leak who are still there today and uh, look at some of the things that they are saying. So here are some more screenshots from some of the uh, members who are on that disgusting 150 plus page um, Imgur that Stay Safe claims is fake. Um, here is some people uh, talking about their logs that kind of made the cut. I only wanted to see if I was one of them. Mine isn't racist. I like how Scylla was made to look like a bad boy. Dude, I was in half of them and I never even say anything racist. That was the biggest travesty. Um, people are going to hate you. You were defending shit. Someone called you a liberal F word. I was in a bunch, but I guess everyone is a racist, bigoted, intolerant child molester from Alex POV. Anyways, I will stop talking about it to avoid myself a ban. Um, here we got Scylla uh, saying, first thing I see when I pop, when I open up the folder, Scylla and Tipo are mods in 2018. I'm like, oh God, what did I say? I mean, it is kind of out of context, but it really does need much context. I don't want to be that lip cuck, but for real, this discord was pretty bad. True. So we have Yagsik and Scylla here both agreeing that this discord was pretty bad and uh, this guy was obviously one of stay safe tv's moderators so uh in addition to the witness that i showed earlier who also was a moderator who also claims he was on this discord server we now have two moderators uh, corroborating the fact that this was stay safe tv's discord and that uh, a lot of these uh, screenshots are in fact from things that they have been saying in that discord now 
Zico, but these are screenshots. Like, what, why are you using screenshots still? Didn't you learn anything? Um, let's go and uh, find the uh, section that we're talking about right here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead here and take, uh, you know, um, anything here. Scylla and Tipo are mods in 2018. We can just search for that. Uh, Scylla and Tipo are mods in 2018. Uh, but before we hit the uh, enter here and before we jump there, uh, let's take a quick look at Stay Safe's reaction here to this Hitler meme uh, posted about four years ago. Uh, are you really posting Hitler memes during Pride Month when racial tensions are at an all time high on Twitch Blackout Day during numerous predatory sex scandals in the gaming scene? Fucked up, bro. Now, this is obviously more coded Nazi language. This is more, uh, you know, um, uh, sarcasm here to kind of skirt around the issue. If he really did have a problem with this, he wouldn't be saying all of these things. He would just, as the server owner, ban this guy, delete this. But he doesn't do that because he does agree with it. He thinks it's funny. And uh, he, he um, yeah, he allows it. Now, here's another thing. Uh, if we go back here, we can just quickly verify that these screenshots uh, that I took, I took those just in case, uh, you know, it gets deleted. But you can see here when I open up the folder, Sri Lanka was in 2018. What did I say? It's out of context. True. Things have been good for the last few months, though. Surprisingly, Dale has reformed. And uh, what this guy is talking about is another user in those logs, one of the worst offenders. Now, this guy says he has reformed. And that also insinuates that his logs on that Discord leak are, in fact, real. Uh, so there's plenty of people here talking about this. And not a single one of them is saying, yeah, that Discord server that Alex Sensual made, huh? What a crazy guy he is. Um, that sounds like... Uh, something that uh, they've kind of been pivoting to after the fact that it got deleted. Now, uh, before we get to the next part here, I would like to quickly talk about one of Stay Safe TV's interesting decisions uh, earlier this year, two months ago, actually. Uh, he decided to give everybody on this server the pass. As a follow-up clarification, you guys are allowed to say the N-word because I have no way to verify your race or ethnicity and it's not my place as a white man to speech police the vibrant POC community in this Discord server. Thank you. Now, if you scroll up there, he says, tone it down because this is a follow-up clarification. He says, tone it down on the edgy comments, please. Going forward, moderators will be stricter on enforcing TOS. If it would get you banned on Twitch, don't post it here. So what would happen if Stay Safe TV dropped the N-word on Twitch? Would he get banned for that? Um, I guess it's just fine for him to, uh, to hand out the pass here to his entire Discord server in case they ha the person who says it, he, he might be black. Who knows, right? So let's take a look at how that has played out for this man on the server. We got 668 N-words in this Discord. Uh, we got interesting interesting now let's let's look at these uh let's look at some of these users too like what is that this n-word so r-word huh who's this guy he's a vip in stay safe tv's server but wait what what did that say it said huh it said based schizo 44 now um i recognize that name i think i feel like i've seen that name somewhere let me uh let me let me let me let me have a look here. Uh, that's definitely a familiar name that I've seen. Um, huh. Huh. So this guy. Huh. Followed by Matt Morse. Stay safe, TV. That's crazy. Okay. Well, let's let's see his profile. His top tweet is, let's go. And uh, this is a uh, Nazi watch list. And uh, he's uh, celebrating that. That is very interesting. His entire, yeah, I want, dude, what? Uh, oh, actually, when uh, I, I retweeted that tweet, Stay Safe was following him. But now due to the controversy, I guess he has unfollowed him because he realized that this guy is a potential smoking gun that can uh, uh, do some damage here to his reputation. Uh, stay safe. It must be exhausting, bro, to permanently be running around and just like swooping. You know, you know, like when they play curling, it's just like running around like this, just cleaning up 
Uh, it's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, now, of course, following somebody that you disagree with uh, or following somebody in general on Twitter, uh, that doesn't have to mean anything. VIPing him in, in, in your uh, Twitch chat, knowing that he's literally on a Nazi watch list. Um, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Like maybe he just didn't know. Like maybe he followed him and he just never saw that. That's, uh, he never saw his pinned tweet or anything of it, or any of his opinions or any of his comments like this in this Discord. Um, who's this guy? Also uh, using a lot of hate speech here. Who's that guy? Uh, another VIP, huh? That's, uh, that's very, very interesting. So uh, it seems to be a common theme here of moderators and VIPs just, uh, just full sending it here in this, this Discord server. Now, I'm seeing, I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing a lot of similarities here between the old super fake Discord server and the current 2024 Discord server. I'm seeing tons of hate speech and against all kinds of people. I'm seeing Nazi stuff. I'm seeing swastikas. I'm seeing all of these things that we are strongly condemning. That was all Alex Sensual. He faked that stuff. Uh, he's the bad wolf. Uh, it's all him. Uh, so we're seeing that. Uh, but, I, I, you know, am I convinced though? Am I convinced that that that, that this proves that those logs are real. I, I'm not sure the witnesses, the multiple moderators coming forward and, uh, and saying that um, uh, this is real or this was real. Um, the uh, uh, you know, mountain of evidence that has been piling up here, the swastikas in this discord, uh, just, uh, I don't know if that's actually enough to convince me. Um, like, you know, all of these 88s, uh, like, Let's, uh, let's have a look here. All of these 88s, like, like, like this could just be people that are born in 1988, right? Like this 167 people could all just be born in 1988. Like it, it could just have uh, nothing to do with that. So um, that could just be a coincidence, right? So uh, let's see what Stay Safe TV had to say about these logs before he got banned, before he knew that there could be some potential consequences to his actions. So uh, this is a deleted VOD from uh, 10 days, 11 days ago, I believe actually, 11 days ago. Uh, um, now I'm gonna give Stay Safe TV the benefit of the doubt here. He did get banned on Twitch. So there's a chance that Twitch just deleted all of his VODs. Uh, I, I'm not sure if, that, uh, if that's something that happens if you get banned for hateful conduct. So we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt here and say that he didn't delete this to, to try to hide things uh, the way he just unfollowed this based Schizo44 to try to hide his affiliation with him. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, what does he say? So he currently is uh, uh, responding to my tweet where I'm asking him, hey, are, uh, are these your logs? Plus one brought some. I'm I'm kind of deciding like how Ooh. how che how cheeky do I want to be? I know that smirk. I've seen that smirk before. Holy moly! I'm getting flashbacks. Okay. I've oh my god! There it is. I've seen that smirk. I have seen that smirk. I know that smirk. That is one special smirk right there. I was hacked. Uh, ah. This is AI. Yeah. Generated. Yeah, that's a good one. And all the photos are Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. All the photos are photoshopped. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. That and makes sense. All the sense. screenshots are screen shots yeah. are photoshopped. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course they are. <clears throat> His current Discord server is also photoshopped. This entire video is photoshopped as well, by the way. You know what? I could just I could just say something to the effect of something like 2018 called and it wants its cancel culture back or something like that. Because it is it is true that like making a joke like this actually is sort of validating his critique of me. I think I think I don't even validate that. It is true that making a joke like this is validating his critique of me. So it's not what it looks like. I was hacked. This is AI generated. All the screenshots are photoshopped and my cat jumped on the keyboard. This is all a joke. So does that mean that this is real? 2018 call, they want the cancel culture back. Is it just, 
yeah, it's all in the past. At the young age of, uh, I think he was 23 or 24 years old uh, when uh, he posted these things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. At the end, it seems like he went for like a mixed defense here of all kinds here. So he, he picked a little bit of this and a little bit of that. One thing that I, that I find very interesting about this is also the fact that I ask him, as soon as I post the first log, is this you? At which point he can just simply say, nope, that's not me. I had a crazy guy uh, going after me. He faked a bunch of screenshots. That's not me. Uh, you, uh, if you're basing, you know, your opinion of me based on, on that, then you need to do, to check your facts, uh, harder, etc. He could have said a lot of things like that. I wonder why didn't he say anything like that, uh, before he got banned. I could say something like this. You're giving him what he wants by responding. There's something you guys don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I like, I like this. So mm. I'm actually getting what I want to because I, I like, I like a little bit of banter. I actually kind of enjoy it. So it's not like I am not like hating, hating this, you know? And there it is. Very interesting. Uh, the kind of the switch up that happened there. Oh, we don't mind. We, uh, yeah, I like this. I'm getting what I want to. Oh, he's the big bad wolf ambassador. He tried to have me canceled. He is Twitch. He bleeds Twitch. He's Tony so Twitch. Everything he says is Twitch. This guy is scum of the earth. Uh, and also how we went from posting screenshots from 2016, 2018 called It Wants to Cancel Culture Back. Uh, how we went from that to what? What Discord? What are you talking about? Discord? I don't even use Discord. I use TeamSpeak. No, wait, TeamSpeak's German. Uh, I use uh, uh, Skype. Yeah, we have a Skype community. Uh, that's what it is. I don't know what this guy is talking about. This guy uh, is obviously completely full of shit. Um, yeah, very interesting how that entire switch up happened right there after you caught a one day ban. Uh, anyway, let's go back to Stay Safe's Discord here for a second. Uh, I. Uh, I found a, a very interesting conversation here that I wanted to take a closer look at here. Um, hmm, so apparently, or allegedly, I'm not sure actually, uh, but it looks here like somebody has uh, accused Stay Safe of being a Nazi yet again, about a, a month ago here. Uh, why do people keep mentioning Nazi allegations? And then we have Ubermensch here saying, it sucks to be a public figure who can't just say the truth. It couldn't be me. I'd break down and say it. And then this guy who, let's be honest, guys, this guy got banned. He said, probably because actual Nazis tend to gravitate towards your community. Great work. Great work by the moderators there. Uh, or Stace, if I'm not sure who caught this guy. Uh, and then, of course, we have based Einar here, the uh, VIP on uh, Stay Safe's Twitch and on his Discord, uh, saying, that's hearsay, Your Honor. Um, very, very uh, intriguing conversations here being had. Uh, but Ubermensch, what, wait, what is Ubermensch? I feel like we've heard that, that before. Wait, let me, oh yeah, on the Cascade Front Discord. So we've gone full circle here. The only thing I will say with certainty is that you don't have to be Aryan Ubermensch to take part. What is that? Aryan Ubermensch. Aryan Uber Mensch. What is that? Oh, Aryan or Germanic master race, a racial version of Nietzsche's Uber Mensch became a, philo a philosophical foundation for Nazi ideas. Huh. Interesting. So we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna have, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have this guy uh, saying it sucks that you can't say the truth when uh, we're talking about, you know, being a, a, a Nazi here. Uh, and that's his username. We're just having a, a conversation there with him, dude. That's wild. We're not going to, like, ask him to change that or anything like that. That's, uh, that's very intriguing uh, for sure. Um, there's also, uh, you know, some more intriguing things here. Um, Mr. Stay Safe has started writing a book uh, on, uh, on this, uh, topic. Huh. 
For the last five months, I've been writing a book about the ancient Greek myth of Hyperborea, the land beyond the north wind, and whether it was entirely fictitious or rather grounded in reality and descriptive of an actual place. So it sounds here like he is trying to prove that uh, the land of Hyperborea was in fact real. Uh, now, what is that? He also named his uh, war his uh, World of Warcraft character uh, the same thing. So here's his World of Warcraft character from 11 months ago, Hyperborean. Uh, and this is from Google. Hyperborea, a mythical land often associated with the Arctic region, is reversed in esoteric Nazi ideology as the ancestral homeland of the Aryan race. According to this belief, Hyperborea was a paradise inhabited by the original Aryan gods or god men who were later exiled or descended to Earth. So it sounds like this is uh well some nazis believe that this is where white people came from and they don't have a common ancestor with uh brown people and black people uh and that we uh, didn't originate in africa uh like my school here in sweden taught me um of course this is also greek mythology right so maybe stay safe is just really into greek mythology uh definitely interesting nonetheless um I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I, I'm still not convinced uh, about any of this. I think he's a changed man. Uh, I think that he's reformed. And uh, this Discord server, this is all fake. Everything here is fake. Uh, the, the Actually, me talking right now is not even me talking. It's actually just a, an AI talking. Uh, this is all AI generated. This is all fake. And uh, yeah. Uh, in uh, closing uh, uh, thoughts here, I want to actually end it on a, on a serious note. Uh, number one, uh, the truth always comes out in the end. Number two, uh, I do genuinely feel, uh, you know, uh, very sad to hear what Stay Safe was saying in his video. Um, not not uh, the stuff about me. I mean, I couldn't care less about that. Uh, I feel like I've addressed all of that, but more so the, the stuff that he was saying that he was getting threats and his wife is getting threats. Uh, and I feel like that's never okay. Uh, regardless if uh, somebody uh, may or may not be a Nazi and regardless if, uh, uh, you know, uh, you hate somebody or heavily dislike somebody. Like I heavily dislike him. Well, mostly because of all the stuff I've shown here today, but uh, yeah. I don't think that's ever okay to do under any circumstances. So uh, that really sucks to hear. Uh, and I do hope that they're, uh, you know, kind of battling through that and feeling better uh, about that. Me personally, I've been getting my fair share of that stuff as well. I've been actually uh, getting uh, a lot of hate on Twitter, on Twitch, and uh, in DMs and uh, threats and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff as well. So I can definitely relate. Uh, it's, it's not great. Uh, but with all of this said, this will be my last uh, kind of comment on this entire drama situation. I'm going to put this all behind us. Uh, and in the end, I do believe that if you're uh, going with these extreme lengths uh, against uh, somebody with these threats, uh, you are just uh, kind of pushing them further in that direction. They're not going to they're not going to see it your way, you know, if you're being a tyrant about it. So uh, at the end of the day, I do believe that love is stronger than hate. And um, I also do believe that nobody is more hated than he who speaks the truth.